Let's save some for the guys you actually came to see. So, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Andy Price. Um, thank you. Uh, since issue one, I have been with IDW Comics doing the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic comic book. Um, and uh, this year I decided that uh, I really wanted to stop the segregation of, oh, well, here's the comic artist and here's the show crew and, and everything, and we all get to play in the same sand sandbox, so I wanted to play with the voice actors. Um, one of the disadvantages we have in the comic books is that we don't have their wonderful talents to inflict the emotions of our dialogue uh, like the show does. Um, and for you guys that haven't gotten to meet any of the voice actors yet, they are wonderful people. Um, they are here to entertain you, so we're going to bring them all out. Um, let's start with... Can we get a big yeah for Michael Dobson? <laughs> let's do another one. All right, so next on our list, uh, I got to meet this lovely lady last year for the very first time, and she is just incredible, she's enticing, she's got a great, great voice. I keep her on my iPod with my Beatles and my Rolling Stones. Um, let's bring out Kazumi Evans. All right, we've got a new voice actor, voice actress, excuse me, uh, who joined in season four. Can we welcome Kelly Sheridan? <laughs> She's watching you. <laughs> um, our next guest is an incredible person. I've gotten to sit and talk with her at length uh, about the phenomena of the fandom of bronies, and she is just great. And in my opinion, she is the true power behind Ponyville because she's the only character with thumbs. <laughs> so let's bring out Kathy Weisluck. And our next guest truly is a mix of the two characters that she performs. Um, she is this demure, little, blonde, shy girl until you get to know her, and she is an explosion of energy. So let's bring out Andrea Libman. We've got one more. Uh, none of us would be here if it wasn't for the power of the sun. <laughs> so let's bring out Nicole Oliver. <laughs> nope, that's it. <laughs> this is this is this is like the this is the border. Is that what that is? <laughs> Let's keep We're that comment. Go past this there. line. I see oh. everyone got the memo to dress in Canadian colors. Yeah, red, white. <laughs> <laughs> For Christmas. Is camo green. Colors. A Canadian Christmas colors. colors? <laughs> candy cane. Candy cane. Christmas. Yeah. 
So we've still got some people trickling in, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we are going to talk with everybody, and then we're going to open up for question and answers, because that's why you guys are here. Um, so let's get the let's get the dull questions out of the way first. Who's your favorite ponies? Me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got to be me, man. <laughs> You're a dinosaur. I believe everyone said Starlight. That was really great, guys. <laughs> Unison. Amazing. I wrote a poem for the occasion. Would you guys like to hear it? Yeah, only... But, Kelly, only if it's followed by some interpretive dance. <laughs> by Nicole Oliver. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do it. Let's do it. Okay, yeah. okay you ready? I'm ready. <clears throat> it's okay. Warm up. Oh yeah, definitely I shoes can't off. Wait for this. Do you need to stretch? Are you okay? Oh. Nothing's coming True off. Too professional. We <clears throat> <laughs> need a cup for dollar bills. It's okay. Nothing's coming off. Ready? Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. P O N Y. We all love that Fluttershy she pony. She pony. <laughs> My name is Starlight, that mark ain't cutie, so I will steal it up off your booty. E-O-N-Y, <laughs> we all love that Fluttershy, she pony. She pony. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Wow. At BernieCon, you get your money's worth. Amazing. Well. I think we should take that show on the road. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <coughs> Will there be an encore? You never know. All right. Well, <laughs> no. since we're here to talk about voice acting, let's get the... Uh, <laughs> and not that. <laughs> <laughs> let's get the prerequisite question out of the way. How did you get started in voice acting? Let's start way down there with Michael and just work our way Hello. Back. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, I started off in theater, and then I did film and television. And um, Scott McNeil was doing a play, and we were both with the same agency at the time. And Scott and I used to hang out and joke around. And just one day, he said to me, "Why aren't you doing voice acting?" I was like, I had done a little bit of radio, and I'd done like you know sketches on on the radio and stuff in Victoria, and um, hadn't really hadn't done any animation. I took a Sue Blue workshop. Um, <clears throat> she remembered me from and she was auditioning for G.I. Joe a few months later, so it was pretty fortuitous that I took her course. So she remembered me and I walked in for the audition. She said, hey, I remember you, you took my class. But anyway, I had lived in the audition, made up a, a few extra Sergeant Savage lines, and nailed the role, got the part. That was the first thing. And then after that, um, Ninja Turtles came along and then a bunch of other stuff, and I've been fortunate to say that I've been doing it full time ever since. So, but Woo! theater, yeah, definitely. Is good background. Thank you. Wow, I can see, I can see <laughs> myself no, on the screen. Right. I was just like, oh. That's hey, look. Yeah, that's what I look like. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 well, always uh, as a kid, I would always uh, do imitations and uh, kind of mimic voices, uh, c cartoons I would see on TV and whatnot. Um, I had a first grade teacher, and she was British. And I got into a lot of trouble in the first grade because um, naturally I would just mimic her accent back to her. And uh, so this was a problem she had, and uh, my mom would just try to explain to the teacher, like, oh, no, 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 she, she, she just means it friendly. She doesn't mean it, like, to be insulting or whatever. And so, I, do, I don't know, I never knew that it would kind of grow into a skill. Uh, <laughs> into a job. Uh, I said to you, you're going to get paid for that one day. Yeah, no, my mom didn't think so. No. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> Probably Not the not. time in the hallway. No, no. Um, but, but I grew up doing musical theater, and that was my first love, and that was kind of my entryway into uh, the performance world, into the entertainment business. And uh, the agent that represented me um, about five years ago, he asked me, hey, are you into... Uh, trying uh, out for voiceover jobs. And I said, yes, sounds good. 
Uh, so I went out uh, for auditions for a bit, uh, didn't hear anything back, and then a show called My Little Pony came along. And um, yeah, uh, I was invited uh, by Daniel into a studio and uh, to sing the theme song, and originally they wanted me uh, to uh, audition for the singing voice of Twilight Sparkle. Um, but after singing it once, he's like, hmm, you know what, I, I think you sound more like a rarity. And I was like, rarity? I, I didn't know who rarity was at that point. I was like, sure, cool. <laughs> and then, yeah, I ended up booking it. And ever since then, yeah, I've been doing this full time. And uh, thanks to My Little Pony and all of you. <laughs> so was that your first gig? Yeah, My Little Pony? Yes. Ama wow, what a way to start out. I know, right? It's incredible. Yeah. Um, oh, that is weird to see yourself. I know. Better. It throws you off. Should have put more foundation on to me. <laughs> uh, I was also a theater brat. That seems to be a common thread. Theater really helps you become a voiceover actor. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a kid, and I was in a local um, youth theater that did international tours, and the woman that ran the youth theater also had an agency for young performers, for minors. And so she'd send me on film and TV things, which I didn't actually kind of love. I really loved theater, but film and TV kind of wasn't my jam. And she sent me on a voiceover audition one day, and I was in the studio recording the audition, and a director from a totally different show was kind of walking through the studio. And he went, oh, who is that kid? We need a teenage girl for this thing we're doing next week. And so they gave him my contact info, and uh, I didn't get the job I went in to audition for, but I got this other thing. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, and I've just been kind of doing it ever since. Small roles turn into bigger ones and bigger ones. So, yeah, theater school. Yep. 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 Theater. Slowly infiltrated. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, every pony. What's up? I just wanted to tell all you that I got a little bit more muscle this time uh, than last time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, um, I didn't come through the theater angle, although I did high school theater, but uh, I got into voice acting through working for the CBC, which is the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, first in Toronto and then um, in Vancouver, and uh, I was heading for music producer land, um, and I also wanted to um, actually produce film and TV documentaries. So anyway, I was doing, a, I was an associate producer for a radio show in Vancouver at the CBC and the host of the show heard my voice and said, have you ever tried doing any voice acting or voiceover? And I said, voice what? Like I had no clue what he was talking about. So he said, well, why don't you do a few commercials for us for a Christmas thing for Vancouver Center Mall. You can do 21, we got 21 commercials and you can do some crazy elf voices and you know, stuff like this. And, and I said, why are you choosing that first? Because you're acting silly at work and whatever, so I think you can do it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I tried it, and I, and I loved it, and I thought it was a fun hobby, and put it aside. And then time went by, and uh, I decided I was going to change my gears and maybe do a master's in sociology or psychology. But just when I was going to gather all my material together, I ended up getting, and well, I, he got, helped me get an agent, the host of the show, and I just landed three shows at once, three series. And I was like, what is this? So I put it aside, and first role was Bessie the Goose in a promo called Kissy Fur. So Bessie the Goose, who was a very snotty little goose, lived nearby a pond, and you had to be able to give her, I don't know, some duck food before you could get into her pond, and that's how it started. So <laughs> here we are today. Bessie, she's really, Bessie. she's really special. Thank you, dear. <laughs> you do love animals, don't you? Of course. Um, I started as a kid. I did film and TV as a kid, and I had this high, squeaky voice, and uh, <laughs> and then it never went away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I did some. I started in radio, doing radio commercials, and then that led into uh, my first animated series, which was called Dino Babies, a long, long time ago. And shortly after that, Madeline. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then I just was always waiting for my adult voice to come. So that's why I went to school for engineering because I thought, oh, this won't last. 
And I'm still waiting. <laughs> I'll let you know. We're glad you're waiting. Um, how many people are, are under 18 in this audience? Oh, it's going to be that kind of panel, isn't it? Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> well, plug your ears for a minute. So, um, I slept my way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. No, I didn't. The I... Secrets of Celestia. <laughs> new from Harlequin Romance. What? Really? I thought you were going to say new. <laughs> anyway. Um, I started out as a dancer, a ballet dancer. <laughs> when I was three, my first performance, I peed on the stage. Um, it was pretty much up from there. Can we get some newspapers put yeah. down over here? <laughs> and you thought it was just warm and wet here. Okay. Um, and then I, uh, I danced and I blew up my knee and I did the high school play. And it changed my life. It was a play called The Prime of Miss Jean Brody and I played Sandy, the betrayer. And Maggie Smith, who um, inspired me greatly was in the movie version. Um, all I remember in the play is walking on stage and then bowing and somehow two hours had gone by and I told my parents, I'm not going to go be a lawyer. Could you imagine? Um, thought about it. I'm going to go be an actor. And they said, fine, but you need to get a degree. Those of you under 18, unplug your ears now. You need to go to school. Um, and so I did, and I, got, I went to York University in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and I got a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Theatre. So I'm a theatre brat as well, that's where I started. I was lucky enough to train overseas at Oxford. Where, but I also, much like Kazumi, I imitated people at a young age and got in a lot of trouble. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I went back a few years later and got my master's in uh, communications. I may go get my um, PhD if for any other reason, just so everyone has to call me doctor. <laughs> I think that'd be fun. Um, but yeah, so that's, and so I've been acting. It's been my only job for 26 years, and I feel very blessed. Every once in a while, they let me work on camera, which I still love. Uh, apparently, I'm playing grandmas now. Whatever. Um, but um, yeah. It's awesome, and uh, so that's and voiceover acting for me. My first gigs were a show for CBS called Dumb Bunnies, way back in the day. Another show called Silver Surfer, uh, and the original X Men back in 1995. Good one. And. Uh, I really loved uh, voice acting. A, a mentor of mine said, you should try it out. You've got an okay voice. And I did. And I love that I can show up in flip-flops and that I can be anybody. That this, my physical outside, doesn't have to um, determine what I'm capable of because we are all capable of so much more, all of us, than what we are, right? So that's why I love voice acting. So since they both said they can do a British accent, let's put Nicole and Kazumi on the spot. Sorry? Sorry, and, I just heard uh, my name and then I just said spot. <laughs> sorry, so, well, sorry, what? 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 British accent. What? Why don't you guys have a little conversation in your worst Cockney accents? You uh, can I can't do with. Cockney. It's terrible. <laughs> it sounds like the duck goose thing, a cousin, a distant relation of Betty. <laughs> Down by the pond eating, you know, crackers. <laughs> you know, what does oh, a goose do, Kath? What does a goose, what does a goose do? Yeah, what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, really, you can, all, you can all do a British accent, yeah? Come on, right? Do it now. Absolutely. One, two, three, talk. Impeccable. Yes. Rain and spend. Yeah. It's like we're actually outside of Buckingham Palace. It's actually, yeah. it's wonderful. Thank yes, you, yeah. thank you. Right, Good job. Yes. Kazumi actually does an amazing horse impression too, not to put you on the spot, but we did a show together and she, we needed a horse Winnie. Yeah. And Kazumi <laughs> was always our go-to. Yeah. Can you do that? <laughs> 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 right? Really good. <laughs> 
that um, Good horse. I, I think definitely the first time uh, yeah, a show we're working on, um, or we're working on, we're hopefully it'll come back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> definitely the first time that happened on the show, that was one of the times I did sprint home uh, to my parents. They'd be like, hey, you know the, like, the horse sounds I've been making over those years? I got paid today to make that sound. <laughs> 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 so it paid off. It paid off. Yeah. Years in the making. Practice mate. your weird animal sounds. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sure. All right, so Michael. Uh-oh. Michael. Oh, no, you uh, don't. How are right they? How yeah. did they the approach you? Boy here. I beg your pardon. Yes. Please how did they ahead. approach you to give your, uh, your trademark dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's saying dialogue like it's more than one word. <laughs> 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 but in that one word, it carries so much resonance. You say so much with one word. It's with one the word. Subtext. It's, you just want me to just say yeah? Is that the deal? Should I say yeah? Should I say yeah? Should I say yeah? Yeah! Stand up and do it. Uh, to show what? us your biceps. Stand should, up and but, do but, it. Uh, with you the diaphragm. Stand up and show us your biceps. Well, if he stands up, he might sweat his pants. See? Uh. <laughs> Character was drawn after him. Type such power, such emotion. Yes. I'm really jealous about that, but eventually I'm going to have that and a mustache. And maybe then Rarity will date you. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I didn't hear. No one can hear I said each maybe other. Maybe Dan Rarity will date you. Oh. Aww. Who I is anyone here? Is this your first time at a pony convention? Wow! Oh, welcome. A mate. Wow. Welcome. Are you having an awesome time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to in just All a right. second. I love it. So, one thing uh, I know nobody here was prepared for was this, <laughs> was the fandom of oh, I My thought Little you meant, Pony. I thought the monitor. Oh, well, that too. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Andrew and I were ready. <laughs> we're staring at ourselves on television here and realizing like we need a lot more makeup. Show. I look very I good from this angle. But, I mean, with the fandom of My Little Pony, the closest thing I've ever really been able to compare it to is the original Star Trek fandom. Mm. Um, yeah. Nobody expected you guys. Nobody. Um, we just did a little project with ponies, and all of a sudden, everybody in the world decided that it was the best thing they'd seen. Yep. Yeah. And. Thanks for deciding that. Yeah. Thank by you. the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean, you guys, this is. This is something you're going to encounter from now on. So what was your first great experiences with the fandom? Oh, are you trying to make me cry, Barbara Walters? God. <laughs> <laughs> Signing a, ta a permanent tattoo on a guy's neck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would wow. be one. <laughs> yeah. You were like, that this was is special. for life. <laughs> for life. Yeah. There for life. I kept asking uh, one guy, I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Like, <laughs> you know. When you ask Here we son. go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's permanent. <laughs> I love the um, the way the show has inspired uh, people to pursue their passion. Yeah. Um, drawing, animation, writing, music, dance, whatever. I just love that. Mm -hmm. And um, I love to hear, uh, and, it, and it just rips me apart, but um, how the show has, you guys have saved so many other people by your generosity of spirit and your friendship and your uh, and really the, this fandom to me sh over and over again represents the best of humanity i mean yeah 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 it's true yeah it's true what so uh, andrea top that <laughs> <laughs> yay <laughs> <laughs> What I think is awesome, too, is how all of you have met so many new friends. Yeah. And one of the stories I've told before is about um, a young man in Texas who wanted to, I think it was get to Florida to one of the conventions, and he had no money. So he went online and he talked to other bronies, and they said, no problem, we will get 
someone in every state between there and your state, and we will do a convoy. We will drive you from your state to the border of the next. You can stay with us. And they did that all the way down to Florida for free. That's a movie wow. script. So touched wow. that he's now one of the main That's organizers. Awesome. So that comes That's cool. Pretty cool. Wow. Wow. What an amazing story. Yeah. So, it's true, Kelly, you're, uh, you're kind of the new kid on the block when it comes to all of this. Yeah. Is this your first pony show? This is my third con, but it's definitely the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to warm up to get to this one. The two other ones. So yeah, did, it's amazing. Did anybody warn you of what uh, you I don't know for? if warn is the right word. Um, well. Prepare, maybe. But uh, that's the nice thing about coming in sort of late in the game is that we're all friends. We all work yeah. together and hang out. So I'd heard about you guys for years. And uh, there's some crossover too, crossover fans who are MLP fans that also like Barbie or some of the anime I've done or other, you know, other stuff like that. So it wasn't a surprise. It was, well, it was maybe a pleasant surprise, just imagining what it was going to be like and having it be even better meeting everybody. Um, so it's been great. Excellent. You guys are cool. <laughs> So, speaking of the fandom, you guys are here to talk to everybody, so why don't we open it up to you guys for some questions. Woo. And everybody makes a mad dash for the microphones. Um, when you're making a mad dash, make sure not to step on any of the kids. Oh, there we go. Hey. Yes. There we are. Oh, we, we can, can see, see you now. now. Yeah. You're gorgeous. Ooh. Look at you guys. Wow. I'm going to take a picture while we get organized. I've brought a Barbie along. She's going to be in the charity auction. She's a Versace Barbie, and she has major stank face. Um, <laughs> that's what I've been calling her all, all weekend, stank face Barbie. Um, and I've ta been taking <laughs> pictures of her all over the convention. So can I take a picture with you guys with Barbie? OK. So carry on. Do your thing, and I'm going to get her set up. <laughs> um, Kelly, is, cool. that a, is that a Mattel product? <laughs> oh. oh. It's a big Barbie. Oh! What? What? Okay. They're We're going to all, it, the, the Hasbro people are gone. Go, go, go now. <laughs> <laughs> do it now, do it now. Oh, Versace Barbie. Versace. 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 Hi, girl. No? I think Mattel would be more worried no. than Hasbro at this point. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um... It's difficult to see you guys from up here with all the lights. Over here in the Let's back start back. over there. Yeah, you want me to hold it? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah, I will. Let's start can, right, on that we, side. Can um, we let, That's if there's any kids in line, can we have them come near the front, please? And certainly, um, if anybody is um, uh, mobily challenged or um, like that near the front of the line as well, that would be really great. But I don't think I have to tell you that because you've already done uh, it because you're bronies. Okay. That's what you do. Mm. <laughs> what? What? Like this. Uh, hello. Um, uh, so, so uh, this question is for um, uh, Spike. Uh, Hi. Hey. Um, so, so did, so did, so did you and me, and we already find out. Um, uh, Make plans for your for your honey for your honeymoon yet? <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. <clears throat> what did she tell you? Something? <laughs> uh, What'd she say? Um, Is she here? <laughs> no, oh. but um, but 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 she but she did but she did tell tell me about um about how. About how you like um uh gyms and um and she's probably uh probably gonna uh, uh bring you some in uh for your honeymoon present. Town <laughs> 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 um, box full of chocolate. I just gotta like uh, take a second here. <laughs> 
So she said that, hey? Wow. Well, you know what? I can't wait. Honeymoon? Did we get married or something? Are we engaged? Uh, no. Um, not, I, I mean, you've been I shipped. Mean, I mean, not, I mean, no. I mean, wedding, not honeymoon. Oh, <laughs> I'm talking about. I was I, scared there. I didn't know I was like Mr. Rarity yet. I'm, I'm, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, hey, um, hey, but, um, but if you, but if you want, um, I can, I can, I can, I can be a bridesmaid spike. Okay. Aww. I would love that. What's your name? Well, I think we've got the wedding planned. Let's Simon. um we What's got your name? Over there? Have we got a microphone set up over there as well? Simon. Simon. Hey Simon, you know what? You are so awesome. And maybe uh, later come and see me so I can give you a big hug and a bro hug. Thanks, Simon. All right, let's go to this side over here. Okay, uh, so my question is for anyone, uh, what pony do you most relate to? Mm. Mm. What's your name? Uh, Eric. Hey Eric, where are you from? New York. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I like your accent. <laughs> That's right. New York. <clears throat> New York. What pony do we, we most, most relate, relate to? to? Um, I aspire to relate to Tree Hugger. <laughs> to who? Tree Hugger. Tree Hugger. Tree Hugger. Tree Hugger. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Michael, what uh, <coughs> pony do you aspire to? Michael. Michael. Oh, hello. Well, not because I play him, but just because I like adventures. Like, the life of Dr. Caballero would be fun, traveling all over the world, investigating, looking at things, and discovering new mysteries of the world. That would be, that would be something I would very much like to do. That would be fun. I would like to get paid to explore the world. That would be cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's... Wonderful. The dream. <laughs> dream of the dreamy dream. <laughs> Hi there. What's your name? My name is Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. So I have a question for um, Kazumi Evans. Yes. Um, I was wondering, I'm a big fan of Rainbow Rocks. It's probably one of my favorite of uh, the Equestria Girl um, series. But um, I was wondering if you could do your voice impression of Adagio Dazzle. Woohoo! <laughs> You're making me smile. She, she doesn't smile a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Fools! And everyone in this helpless little world will adore us. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. That was scary. What makes you so crazy, Andrea? <laughs> It's the sugar. I think Chardonnay helps. <laughs> All right. How about over here? Do it. Do it. Who's next? Do it. <gasps> look at you. Oh, you look great. You. Amazing. Wow. Stop it. <laughs> very, very so nice. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. So um, good. What's your favorite actor? Hmm. Well, that's a good All question. Right. Interesting question for those in the acting business. Wow. What's your favorite actor? Wow. Current or, yeah. like, do you need to know, do you want to know? All time? Would, yeah, old time or current? Or current. Current? Current, current, current. 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 Holy oh. crow, that's a lot of good actors out yeah. there. Yeah. Meryl Streep. Yeah. yeah, Meryl's pretty great. Give her her 20th Oscar already. Yeah. <laughs> Meryl. And if pretty we're to awesome. go older, Judy Dench. Oh, yeah. Judy. Yes, yes. What's your name? Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Sophie. Thank you for your question. Awesome costume, Sophie. Yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. Let's go to that side. Um, hi, my name is Emily. <laughs> um, my question is, 
Do you have any encouraging words for people going through hard times? Oh. Well, I think you're in the right place, first of all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so true. Yeah. I would say stay close to your friends and those who love you. Don't look too far ahead in the future. So stay in the moment and count the things that you are grateful for, knowing that you're in some way looked after. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. welcome. Thank you. Hi there. Uh, this question's for Andrea. Hi. What has got to be your favorite Pinkie Pie quote? Oh, boy. Oh, oh man. Wait. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, right? Pinkie Pie? Okay, wait. I've got to get a move. Oh. Is it going to be uh, in the form of an gotta, interpretive dance? You got to give her. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. If you've ever been around Andrea for oh, yeah. even a moment, you got to give her a little space when she does yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, she just. I'm really loud. <laughs> I can't hear out of this. Side. I really. What I like. Um. Jimmy Cherry. Jimmy Jenga. Jimmy Cherry. Jimmy Jenga. Jimmy Cherry. Jimmy Jenga. Jimmy Cherry. Jimmy Jenga. Cool. That's a good one. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Um, I was wondering what the most valuable lesson is to learn from the TV show. <gasps> These are good questions. Those are good questions. Most valuable lesson. I, I really love, um, well, the elements of harmony, I think, are really important. And I, Fluttershy's really resonates with me. I always think to be kind to other people is so wonderful and so important. What's your name? Quinn. Sorry? Quinn. Quinn. Quinn, Quinn, how old are you? Uh, 13. Um, I think for me the show is that um, you are the best you that you can be, but with friends, you're even better. Thank you. Also, thank you for... Um, when I started watching this TV show, I was going through some like really hard times, and it's just helped me a lot, so thank you. Oh, you. There's a solution to every problem, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's up? Hi there. Up. Hi. Hey. Yo. You look smashing. <laughs> <laughs> smashing. <laughs> okay, first off, thanks, Celestia, that I'm at the mic, because I've been going to this con for three years, and I have not once gotten up here. Yay! Woo! Yay! Woo! Well, thanks for coming, and next question. And there. Oh, <laughs> Hold on, I, got a I just got a couple more small things to say. First off, Andrea, thank you for last year for giving me your autograph. You're Michael, welcome. Michael, thank you for following me on Twitter, by the way. Of course. <laughs> you can probably I love you, man. Yeah. I, I was Rico Brzezinska, by the way. That's, <laughs> hey, that, Rico. That was me. Oh, awesome. Uh, and I have a small question for Nicole. Uh, do you like mm, bananas? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I don't know. Let's remember that this is a family show, Nicole. Oh, here we go. Eight, 18 and under, plug your ears You're again. You're going to get her to dance again. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> See Rico. He got just whacked by Nicole. Also. That's no, worth the I price. like apples. <laughs> that was worth the price of admission alone. Let's go over there. How about over there? You got a question? Hi, my name is Colette, and I was wondering, how did you feel on your first episode of My Little Pony? These are such great, oh, great, yeah. really yeah. good. You guys ask the best questions. They are. Yeah. All, yeah. My, is your heart beating fast right now, Colette? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Colette, is Colette, I felt nothing like you on my first episode of My Little Pony. Mm -hmm. I was excited and nervous, excited and thrilled and uh, beside myself and and and, and? yeah, it was uh, it was trippy. It was fantastic. It was humbling. 
it was frightening and it was great. Yes. How's that? Like, you know, like. Yeah. Excellent. That's how I felt. I don't, I, uh, I, all of that, uh, what yeah. you just said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I was pretty nervous my first time because uh, I think uh, when I, w the first song I recorded was Art of the Dress for Rarity. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you. And um, anyways, like especially in the, repri the reprise of that song, it, she gets more uh, stressed out and she's frustrated. And definitely I think my nerves because I was so nervous. It was like stage by stage, stitching it together. <laughs> it definitely, I think Daniel said after the session, he's like, I really think your nerves helped with that. Like I really could feel the stress and like the nerves <laughs> in that and like, you know, really good choices. And I was like, I wasn't acting. <laughs> so no, definitely my first time uh, recording for the show. I was pretty nervous for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Colette. Thank you. How about over Hello. here? Uh, yeah. My name's Jer, a.k.a. Ford Progress from the Bernies of Southern Pennsylvania, representing. Woo! Excellent. All right. Um, so if you can't tell by all of this, I absolutely loved the 100th episode, as I'm sure most of us did. Let's hear it. So what I want to ask is, um, how much pressure did you guys feel to get it right for the fandom? And in particular, Andrea and Kazumi, because you played the voices of characters that have been voiced within the fandom already to kind of present that out. Was it extra pressure? Was it more fun, less fun? Well, I didn't know anything, so it was <laughs> fine. <laughs> Well, if you can't tell, I loved it, you know. Oh, that's awesome. No, no, I really, uh, I just thought, oh, this is cool. I get to be mm -hmm. someone in the 100th episode. I was really <laughs> And I thought, oh, Bon Bon, Sweetie Drops, what is that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, it's, I just didn't really know how, what a big deal it was. And, and now I know it's yeah. really cool. Uh, <laughs> do you feel the same way? Yeah, likewise. I think um, I didn't really realized walking into it how big of a character Octavia was to the fandom. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, to, <laughs> um, to be honest, walking into that booth, I was just so excited after reading the script that Doctor Who's, because I'm a big Doctor Who fan, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I was just so happy that I was in an episode where Doctor Who made into a pony was appearing, yeah. really, yeah, <laughs> to cool. be truthfully honest. Um, but no, no, of course now, like Andrea, I realize that it is a big deal and I'm very proud to have voiced her. Awesome, thank, thank you guys. You. Excellent. Thank you. We got Thanks, time man. for more, so let's go over there. <laughs> Fun the dude. <laughs> okay, hi. Hi. Um, my, I'm shaking. Um, okay. My favorite question, I'm not, uh, what's your all time favorite episode that you've been in? Oh, wow. Well, that's an easy one for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Amending Fences. Yeah. Equestria Games. <laughs> uh, s still Party of One for me. I love them all. <laughs> so diplomatic. Uh, yes. <laughs> Hi there. First of all, I would like to say I love you all. And my question is for Nicole. And where did you get your amazing dancing skills from? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> from ballet school, right? <laughs> bottom of a Sauvignon Blanc bottle. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if you're really serious, I did actually <laughs> train classically. I'd be shot probably by my teachers based on myself. But I did, and uh, I actually blew out my knee. I was on point when I was eight, um, and I have arthritis head to toe because of dance, but uh, it was... Um, I love dance. I still go to dance class in Vancouver every once in a while. Me and the 18-year-olds, they kill me. And I, I, I really like hip-hop. And um, again, if back to the Sauvignon Blanc theme. If I have a couple of glasses, maybe at, later at Brony Palooza, I'll whip out a few moves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Over there. Hi there. Hi. Um, so my question is, um, which element of harmony do you most value? Mm. Wow. wow. Beautiful wow. questions. These are great questions. Uh, wow. Wow, that's great. Honesty and generosity. All of them. Think kindness. Yeah, I was going to say that too. Yeah. Kindness, I think. Kindness. What are, what are kindness, they again? Yeah. Laughter. Kindness. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy, <laughs> dopey. Kind. Loyalty. Grumpy. Yeah, loyalty. 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 Magic, no, that's of course. We had to review them, you see? <laughs> what one do you most value? Yeah. Um, I most value, I guess, kindness. Why? Yeah. Because um, I just feel good around my friends and having fun with them. Aww. That's beautiful. That's lovely. Thank yeah. you. What's your name? Sophia. 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 Rockstar. Thanks, Sophia. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Excellent. Excellent. Great yeah. question. Okay, we got time for just one or two more. So let's go over there. Oh. Hi there. Hi. Um, <clears throat> my name is Misha Kustrilevich. It's a really long name. Um, my question is, um, have you have any of you been bullied and what's your like what's your like um <clears throat> what's your strategy for like standing up to bullies so what is your solution for standing I up was bullied quite badly I was bullied too Give me yeah. too um yeah. I broke the bully's nose in grade 4 <laughs> What did she say? No 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 I just had enough and I didn't have a fandom of support like you guys give other people there wasn't the opportunity to talk and listen and people didn't believe me when I was said I was bullied and um, so my advice is is find someone you can talk to and and know you're not alone and um, often the person who's bullying you is in a lot of pain and um, I think if I could do it again I'd rather give her a big hug than break her nose I think it is uh, important for everybody to know here that everybody in some degree has been bullied. Yeah. We're all in that field, so it's don't feel alone when yeah. it happens. It can happen throughout your life at any age. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. That's true. But to have compassion for it, like Nicole said, to have in a way compassion for the person who's bullying, because they wouldn't be bullying if they didn't have an issue themselves. So we can look at that, you know have compassion for them. Mm -hmm. And like Kathy said, it happens at every age. I mean, we all have bosses, so we're still bullied. It's from Ed, he said I could. Um, yeah. um, sorry to interrupt just for a sec, I hope that's okay. Um, Ed Firemane, Spike Firemane, um, donated this to our panel um, and said I could give it away to whoever I wanted to. Wow. Uh, beautiful carving of fleet foot. And I would like to give it to um, Fluttershy, who asked the question, you know, how can you feel better if you're going through a tough time? And I'd love to give this to you, if that's okay. Emily? <laughs> We're gonna, we'll all sign it. Is it Emily? Is your name Emily? We're gonna sign it for you and then we'll pass it to you. One more question? Yeah, all right, while well, they're signing those up, let's go over there, we got one last question. Hello, my name is Joni, or please note. Yes, um, <laughs> my question is, is what episode do you find most humorous? Oh. And that's to every one of you. <laughs> and, and especially you, because I haven't heard you um, answer a question yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody over here is going to be a director in her future. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you for getting, making sure everyone gets a turn. <laughs> well, I'm speechless. <laughs> um, you know what? I, personally, I thought the 100th episode was hilarious. I couldn't believe what a great job the writers did on that and the animators. Like Everybody combined on that episode did a, a fantastic job. I thought the pacing on it was great. It was so, so funny. It was hilarious. It was very inventive. I don't know. The 100th episode, I thought they, they really nailed it. I thought... They, what people expected for, probably for a hundredth episode, they hit that and exceeded it. That, that was my feeling. I thought I thought they blew it out of the ballpark.
All right, I think that's got it, guys. Um, one last thing for those of you that don't know, uh, a couple episodes ago, I became an official pony on the show. But my pony didn't get to say anything. So I want one of these guys to be my voice if my pony ever gets to show up again. Who gets to be my voice? I'm going to let you guys pick. <laughs> I've got I've got a voice for you. <laughs> I think it would sound like this. Hi, I'm Andy Andy's pony, and um, I'm um, you know drawing some comic books and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I swallowed a lot of helium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or it could be like oh, I'm Andy. I'm Andy's pony. <laughs> um, I like uh, long walks in the dark. Alone and um, uh, <laughs> I draw stuff. <laughs> I think she's nailed me. <laughs> Rainbow Dash. She's not here at the moment. We'll we can try to make her like that. Nobody does it like she does it. Nobody does it like she does it. I'm awesome. Yeah. Huh? Yilda. You do kind of sound like That's Marika Hendricks. <laughs> Maybe she'll be here next year. I'll say hi to Marika for you all, okay? All right, where can, uh, where can all these fine, fine people find you at here at the show? Uh, some of us are heading down to autographs, race yep. you. Um, we're here all weekend. Uh, we've got another panel tomorrow. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, yes. We're here. Yep. We could pop up anywhere. Yes. 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 Be, be, just check your schedule, and we look forward to seeing you guys in person. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Thanks for Thank coming, you, everyone. Thank you guys very, very yeah. much. Big, big round of applause. Come on, bigger than that. Uh, thanks, guys.